Hello children. In this lesson, we shall discuss how the foundation of the Sultanate dynasty was laid. After the death of Muhammad Ghori, a very capable slave officer, Qutbuddin Aibak, became the ruler of Delhi. Do you know that in the time of Muhammad Ghori, there was a trend of keeping slaves. Un dino, gulam rakhne ki pratha thi aur gulamo ko war and administrative skills mein efficient banaya jata tha and then they were given high post in the kingdom. Qutbuddin Aibak was one of them. And that is why the Sultanate period was called the Slave Dynasty and is also referred to Mamluk Dynasty. Let us now have a look at the main rulers of the Sultanate period. First ruler was Qutbuddin Aibak. He ruled for about four years and he was called as Lak Baksh which means giver of lakhs because he used to give lakhs in charity. Qutbuddin was succeeded by his son-in-law Iltutmish. Iltutmish is called the real founder of the Sultanate dynasty. He constituted a group of 40 slaves known as Turkane Chehilgani. He was the first to mint gold and silver coins and he introduced tanka of silver and jital of copper. Iltutmish nominated his daughter Razia Sultana as his successor. She was the first Muslim woman ruler of Sultanate dynasty. She was a brave, intelligent lady and dressed like a man, rode horses and led the armies into battle. But the Turk Sardars did not like to be ruled by a woman and so they removed her from the throne. After Razia Sultana, Nasiruddin Mahmud, the grandson of Iltutmish, was made the Sultan of Delhi. But he was a weak and inexperienced ruler. And so, he appointed Ghiasuddin Balban as his commander. Balban was a very able and a strict ruler. Balban ne Nasiruddin Mahmud ki weak leadership ka fayda uthaya, apni position ko strengthen kiya and he became a powerful sardar. He started the tradition of Sijda and Paibos. Bacho, क्या आप इस मॉन्यूमेंट को पहचानते हैं? This is Qutub Minar. It is one of the most famous historical monuments of India. The construction of Qutub Minar was started by Qutubuddin Aibak but was completed by Iltutmish. It is a five-storied monument and it is about 72.5 meters tall. That's all in this session. Goodbye, children.